2018 Acura RLX Sport Hybrid First Drive, still in search of its mission. Sedan sales are down across the board, almost 9% last year and almost 11% so far this year. The reason day, is that everyone is going nuts for crossover utility vehicles. CUV sales are up, up, up. Everyone loves CUVs because they're roomy, practical, comfortable, and they make their owners look like they have an active lifestyle, whether they actually do or not. So why would a car company invest in a sedan? Specifically, a sedan the sales of which are the worst in the segment by a pretty good margin? In the overall market, CUVs and SUVs are all the rage, admits Acura VP of Marketing Vicky Popanai while noting that Acura offers the strong selling MDX and RDX. But there's still a very precisely defined customer for these sedans, someone who is looking for the dynamic performance you can't get in an SUV. Unfortunately for Acura, most of those customers are not buying Acuras. They are instead buying, in order, the Mercedes E-Class, 50,896, BMW 5 Series, 32,408, Audi A6, 18,686, Lexus GS, 14,878, and, heck, 5,872 people even bought Infiniti Q70S last year. How bad are sales of the Acura RLX? 1,478 in the last calendar year. Mercedes sells almost 35 times as many E-classes. So the 2018 RLX is in line for a mid-cycle facelift, but given its seriously slagging sales, this mid-cycle facelift takes on added significance. It has to bring in buyers Acura is otherwise missing. As with all facelifts, this one includes new front and rear clips, as well as new head and tail lights. The lights are all LEDs decked out in stylish arrangements that set the RLX apart from the competition. In addition to the front and rear clips is a new hood. The grille abandons the beak look for Acura's more attractive diamond pentagon grille, a more intriguing face similar to that on the TLX. There are also bright, beautiful colors, including a new red aptly named Brilliant Red Metallic that will bend light from the sun during daytime drives. There are barely noticeable adjustments, small tweaks one exec called them, to the double wishbone front and multi-link rear suspension. On the front suspension the springs are slightly firmer while the dampers are slightly softer. The front anti-roll bar is a bit softer it's the same diameter as before but the wall thickness is reduced 0.4 mm. In back both the springs and dampers are slightly softer and the roll bar is thicker and stiffer. There were some changes to the electronic power steering system software, but no one at the RLX intro knew exactly what they were. The drive trains carry over. The entry-level setup is the front-wheel drive RLX PAWS, aka Performance All-Wheel Steer. That model comes with a 3.5-liter direct-injection V6 making 310 HP and 272 lbft of torque. It's mated to a 10-speed automatic shared with Accord and Odyssey, among others. The PAWS model wasn't available for drives during the introduction program. The more powerful RLX Sport Hybrid SHAWD was. It gets a 3.5-liter direct-injected V6 mated to a 7-speed automatic with an electric motor integrated inside. Total system power is 377 HP. The rest of the hybrid system rides out back, using a more compact battery and two electric motors that send torque to the rear wheels when necessary. In addition to all that, the 2018 model comes with a new feature called Traffic Jam Assist, which combines Lane Keep Assist with a more sophisticated active cruise control to drive the car for you in stop and go traffic below 40 miles per hour. You still have to wiggle the steering wheel every 15 seconds to keep the lawyers happy, God bless him. How does it all work on the road? It's quite comfortable in everyday city driving. The seats inside are all new and come with fancier stitching while a new 14-speaker Krell audio system promises relaxing music or blaring talk radio, depending on what soothes you. The traffic jam assist does, in fact, work, though having to wiggle the wheel every 15 seconds got to be a real annoyance.
When can we just bow before our robot masters? Acura provided an Audi A6 for us to drive as well and, frankly, I liked the Audi better, at least when I pushed it hard on twisting mountain roads, which is what I did with both the Audi and the Acura. The Audi was more precise and had better control from the dampers. Sail over some whoops and the Audi ate M up and kept steering. The RLX Sport Hybrid gave a little bit of wallow in those conditions, perhaps because of those softer shocks. It was fun to wallow that little bit, it required that much more involvement in the driving process, but the Audi was the better performer. Would a V8 and rear-wheel drive save this model? Only a few segment competitors offer V8s. That question has been thrown at Acura since the legend was launched. We have our own view of what a sedan should be, said Popeye, calling it precision-crafted performance. We have to follow our own beat. We see ourselves differently. We're not like anyone else. Yet, everyone else sells more cars. Haha. <laughs> okay, that was cruel.